Yep, what's good everybody, it's NASA Bringing you another Battlefield 3 video And I got a lot of positive feedback Yesterday from the video I posted uh, Mentioning what I wanted to try to do Which is good, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick with that And I don't use mines ever, so let me just go to repair tool Using the classic MP5K But a lot of people gave me some positive feedback saying that they like the idea of doing these kinds of videos. So I'm going to stick with it. Let's see how that goes. I'll tank right here. And uh, let's see how it goes from here. So this is Strike at Carcan. This was actually a really, in my opinion, underrated DLC. Because I like this DLC a lot. And a lot of people didn't. And the reasoning for that. Come on, McDougal. Get out of here, son. And the reason for that is because... Oh, guys in there. Yo, don't try to kill me. Don't try to kill me, buddy. I think there's still a guy in there, though, which sucks. There he goes. Mm, RPG. Where's that tank? Did that tank ever leave? Dude, the soul flam is up there, though. I know that. Right, I got a feeling this dude's creeping up behind us. Uh, surprisingly not. Oh, they took. They gotta be a guy in there. I gotta. I gotta risk it. I gotta risk it. We got a tank. We got coverage. I'm going for it. Also, I wanted to tell you guys that I uploaded, or not, I uploaded. Shakedown actually uploaded a try commentary with me, him, and Jive Turkey on his channel. I'll link that. It was a. It was a pretty good um video, if you ask me. You know not being biased at all um, I think you guys should all check check it out if you know if you have a off the hip off the hip ah the guy behind him got me so I think you guys should all check that out if you have a few minutes after this video or even you know save it or or something or bookmark it so you can take a look at it later on ah the medic the ever so handy medic comes through with the heal or with the revive don't revive me, bro. I remember everybody hated getting revived. Rambo reviving. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here, buddy. You ain't have to kill shot. Like Shakedown calls it. You ain't have to kill shot, man. What were you thinking? Now, there's a guy. Mm, got a few guys over here, actually. Fluffy Butters should be shooting this guy right in his ass cheeks, but apparently he doesn't want all these kills. That's. Standing ever so freely right in front of him, but I'll gladly take that. Prove my score. Thank you. Ooh, there's some guys over here. Oh, you showed yourself. You showed yourself. Don't play yourself, son. Ah, get up, get up. Ah, nobody. Oh wait. Let's see, let's see. Ah, no more grenades. Shit. Ah, I should have just stood laying down. Brain fart. Brain flart. Brain freeze. Ah, I was mad guys there. I probably wouldn't have got it anyway. They probably decided shooting rockets at me, but idiot what it is. They're taking a the square. Let me spawn over there. Ah, yeah. Too late now. Shoot. Mmm, damn, they taking a lot of stuff actually. Let's see, give this a go. Try to take out this tank that's just posted up. Protecting this flag over here. Oh, he's up top. Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Damn. Sometimes you wish this game did have the panic knife, but somebody killed him. It's all good. Panic knife. I'm, I'm actually happy this game doesn't have a panic knife. Panic knives were good at one point because you'd be able to like... What I liked about panic knives were that they allowed you to like, you know, get out of really tough situations where you might not have gotten out of if there wasn't you know panic knives but it wasn't for the panic knife part of it you know that's where it sounds a little misleading what it really benefited was from if you're coming you know if, if you're coming behind guys whoa what it really came in handy was if you flanked a few dudes and you were by yourself the knife offered you a nice quick stealthy way to take them out and Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, what? 
What? Wow, that dude's not him. The other dude's. I went. Ah. Uh, I was talking about knifing people, so I went for the knife kill, and the dude spawned on him and pushed my guy's animation backwards. Ah, uh, and that was an epic fail. What an epic fail. You know what? F you, buddy. Get out my damn building! Get out my building, goddammit! Oh! What? Come on, man. There we go. Kill his ass. But yeah, I got some positive feedback on the video yesterday, and I'm happy about that. Also, what I didn't want to do, to be honest with you, was the vlog idea, where I said have some topics, and I talk about it over a vlog, like, you know, topics you guys suggest. I didn't really want to do that, because it feels like a cheap kind of video, and ah, oh, come on, man, ah, I got that guy with the RPG at least. Come on, guys, you guys gotta protect the flag, man. Ah, this guy, Barreto. Okay, see where you at. There we go. Barreto, you are getting one up to A. Right up now. But I got some good feedback, and I didn't want to do the vlog I did because it feels like a cheap kind of. Not cheap, but cheap in a sense that. Where's Hogmaster at now? What's going on here? Ah, shit. Getting killed two times. Man, they got that flag covered, man. We losing everything, man. Get a grip. Oh, no. We actually not losing. Right, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. But I didn't want to do the vlog idea because, honestly, I don't mind watching vlogs. But a lot of the way people do vlogs, it seems very, like, uh, seems very whack, <laughs> to be honest. And, you know, I want to make videos that are entertaining. And vlogs, although they serve their purpose, you get information out. Oh, where you going get the information out Ooh, there's a guy. was that guy on the roof or was he right here in this oh shit he might oh you waited for me q-tip yeah what you know about that ah uh, come on oh oh how am i still alive last stand what was that yo did you did you see that huh first last stand ever Battlefield 3 Pretty interesting I might have found something Watch that replay I might be on to something Oh they are Ooh. Ah no Damn They, they bum rush out We're going to lose this flag I can't offer any resistance Well I'll go offer some moderate resistance Pre-fire. Yo, get caught up in it. Pre-fire. Oh, shizzle. Where are these guys at? I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe. I don't feel my face. Come on, dude. Help that guy. Shit, let me just go this way. I saw a dude over here. I don't know if he's up top or he's on the corner of this ledge right here. Might be right around here. There he goes. Give me them tags, buddy. Sweet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, that's ours. That's ours. That's ours. We're good. Oh. Come on, son. See what I'm saying? Off the hip with a red dot. And I don't get that kill right there know what that means that red dot's got to go I'm about to go tactical like old school when they used to be OP like a mother and there's still a lot of action on C but they're taking E let me spawn on the train offer some support on the train fuck it's that guy pulling my whole cover now too uh, let's see maybe I could chill out here nah that ain't gonna help He's gonna take the flag if I don't go support. I'm gonna get sniped though. Bet you. Bet you I get sniped. Bet you I get sniped. That dude's in here somewhere. I know it. Yeah, look at that. I don't need no damn off the hipness laser beams. I'm good, son. I'm good. But also though, I did want to have some topics to speak about. So, topic one was that I did that dual commentary. 
which is nice uh topic two that sounds like a movie right topic two. Oh no that sounds like a restaurant matter of fact topic two i might actually please don't steal that from me in case i ever go into the catering business yo what's up man you guys want to go to topic twos tonight i'm with that get some wings get two kill assists press an assist and a kill assist the cute guy laying on the ground get merc son topic two there was something i wanted to speak about i'm trying to think oh uh no shit i can't remember my bad but uh some oh well one thing i could actually speak about is some people were saying that they didn't want the full game plays and that's perfectly fine but you got to remember these are a lot easier for me and they give me a lot more time to really talk about what i want to talk about as opposed to oh shit i, I gotta go down man this this guy's up on that building as opposed to me trying to squeeze everything in a short little five minute video and I gotta edit and, and all that stuff and it's just not very time efficient right now for me that's our, that's our guy it's not very time efficient for me right now for what I'm trying to do so this is a lot oh shit oh I blew my cover big time oh no oh two piece huh why did it only show one guy on the kill feed did I oh get on me Am I gonna go upstairs and go on a go on a little spreezo right here? Oh shit, that guy. I'm surprised he didn't see me. Ah, come on, man. Damn, mad guys on that flag. And then we have a tank there? Hope that tank ain't leave, because there's a lot of dudes there. I'm gonna spawn on C again. Shit, looks like they might be taking G, but. I need I need to spawn where the action's at. Oh, that guy just got taken out. Get off that, Mr. Hangover. Mr. Hangover, that sounds familiar. I think I knew a dude named Mr. Hangover. I don't remember from where though. I'm trying to recollect now, but it skips my mind. But yeah, if you would like to, or if you would like me to speak about something or address something, you know, specifically. Leave it in the comments. Be like, yo, NASA, what are your thoughts on XYZ? And I'll, you know, I'll gladly let you guys know for these downtime moments in the video where ain't much going on except me running around trying to secure a flag C for the last hour and a half. Oh, and also, what I wanted to do also was I use a lot of the same weapons, mostly, of course, MP SMGs, MP5, MP5K, or the g53 that's what they call in this game not the mp5 but i wanted to use a lot of different weapons as well and not just my oh damn yo wow all right not going that way again i got an idea though i think my guy's behind him which is exactly what i wanted to spawn on this dude right here because this is exactly where i wanted to go see this guy's thinking this guy's my kind of guy he's thinking on my oh, come on don't die here off this do this flank action you know i used to flank a whole bunch in uh oh that's what i wanted to talk about duh see how see how everything pops up once you get like a keyword to click on what you wanted to say so me and fisticuffs i known fist for a long time i, I probably said this story over a dozen times already but me and fist go way back and we originally started playing on Battlefield 2 Modern Combat for the Xbox 360. No, I'm sorry, for the original Xbox. And then it was ported over. Oh, shit, I got scared the hell out of me. Then it was ported over to Xbox 360. And this tank's gonna kill us. Oh, shit, I'm about to just neutralize and dip. Yeah, I don't know why. That's probably was stupid. I left my guy by himself, but I didn't feel safe. Oh, that guy. Oh, I was about to say, you almost blew it. You almost blew it, buddy. Got the kill assist anyway. Engineer, an en engineer to revive me? No, no. But me and Fisticuffs were big time Call of Duty players. I'm talking about huge Call of Duty players. And, and what we liked about the game was, I guess really, it really came down to the dynamics of the game, you know? No game really brought 
the battlefield, you know, feel, you know, into, in, you know, on any platform at that point or any console. Everything was PC, you know, Battlefield 2 was a PC game. And uh, Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, which was our, you know, personal favorite, was a game that wasn't a port. It was a game made strictly for consoles. And that's what made it so great, you know. A lot of games nowadays, they make one version of it. Oh, this guy, this guy messed up. He messed up, man. And there's a guy over here too. Hopefully he wasn't looking at his radar because I'm right here. Yeah, here we go, stat man. But me and him were huge Battlefield players. And it's just something about the game was just amazing. And it was something that you couldn't get anywhere else on console at the time. And we stopped playing Battlefield because Battlefield Bad Company came out. And we were waiting for the sequel so bad. And they come out with Battlefield Bad Company. And we were like, what the hell is this sorry ass excuse for a Battlefield game? Because let's be real, if you were a Battlefield fan, Bad Company Part 1 was a slap in the face to all Battlefield fans. And we knew that because we were hardcore Battlefield players. So that's why we never went over and that's actually why we switched to Call of Duty. If, if they had a proper sequel that was good, we probably would still have always been Battlefield players to this day and probably not have jumped on the COD train, you know, so to speak. But. Anyway, just a little tidbit of information I wanted to get out before the video wraps up. A little bit more I wanted to mention. Maybe I'll continue talking about it in another video. But for the time being, we get another victory. Happy I haven't lost yet while doing these videos. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoy all the feedback. It helps me out. And, uh, you know, leave your thoughts, suggestions, comments, or whatever in the comments below. Ninth place, man. Not too good. I really want to finish top three. But eh, I'll take that for now. All right? Peace. I'm out. New York stand up.